Throwing hits at him, blitzes, just trying to get the ball out of his hands and um, being that tall, being that crafty, uh, being that strong, uh, that's a tough cover for any team. And um, Obviously, he averaged 30 last year for a reason, and um, that team has done nothing but put the right pieces around him. They've gotten better, and he's still doing what he does. So um, just a lot of credit to what, he, what, what he's becoming. De'Aaron Domas seems to have a, a tendency in, in games like this to put up a massive stat line while some of his teammates are, or a lot of his teammates are thriving as well. For him to have these two games against Chet, who's one of the gr uh, great up-and-coming centers in this league, and for him to make the stamp on the game the way that he does, can you speak a little bit just to the, what he provides? I think uh, I think we take for granted a little bit what he does. I think being able to get 18, 14, and 7, I don't know how many times he's done it, but I'm pretty sure he's done it a good amount of times. Um, <laughs> that's, not, that's not a normal game. Uh, and just the way that he's been better defensively this year for us, being able to put his chest in front of the ball, uh, going vertical, just being able to change shots, I think has been big for us. Obviously, he's still a um, focal point of a lot of our offense, and um, that's, that's not an easy thing to do, especially at the center position. Um, there aren't many guys in the league, especially at that position, that do it. And You, know, you see the guys that do it, and they're MVPs. So um, it's just a testament to the work that he puts in, how much pressure we put on him, and he doesn't waver. Like you said, this is one of the one of the better. I mean, he's a rookie this year, but uh, going to be one of the better players in the league real, real soon. And um, Domas comes out and he does what he does. Dearn, it looked like you hurt your. You may have banged your right shoulder. How's everything going with the shoulder? I'm all right. I mean, it hurt a little bit. Uh, can't do anything about it. So just get treatment and be ready for the next one. And these games like this, where it's just back and forth, just how good is this for you guys to have? highly competitive games versus some of the games. A lot of games you guys are blowing teams out and other games you guys aren't doing as well, but this is one of those hard-fought games. Oh, I mean, I wish we didn't let them back in it, but we did. And uh, even though they, they went on a run late, we were able to finish it out. So just being able to execute down the stretch and at times get a stop when you need to get a stop or um, not give up a three when you, when you don't want to give up a three, just little things like that at the end of, at the, end of the game, being able to rebound, um, I think, Oh, what they have. Obviously, 16 offense rebounds is too many, but uh, just being able to get the ones that we did down the stretch definitely helped us win this game. Darren, even though you, you reached you know, 40 in this game, did it feel like you did when you was in, in the moment? Oh, uh, I don't know. I, didn't, I, I don't feel like it was like one of the games where I was just like hot or anything like that. I don't, I don't really know how to describe it. When you're just in the moment, like, and I, I can't really say you're thinking about it. Um, nah, I really don't know. I really don't know. I know I had a good game, but um, I, won't, I, I can't say that like, I felt like I knew I had 40 already. Darren, you put on a clinic in, among other things, putting your shot off the glass, different angles, different spins. Uh, how much do you work on that? How much would you say you've maybe studied that? I, did, I actually studied it, um, like coming up out of high school, just being able to put English on the um, and it's funny because I tell people all the time, like the NBA ball is a lot different than like a Nike ball or Evolution ball or a Botten, like what they play with in, in high school. Like if you do anything with those balls, the basketball like sticks on the glass. Like it's much easier to do it with that. And then like you do it with NBA ball and it like slides right off. So um, it definitely took a, a, a lot of time for me to get used to playing with the NBA ball because there's no other ball like it. Like you play FIBA, it's a totally different ball than NBA ball. In college, you're playing with the Nike ball, Adidas, whatever it is. Um, so NBA ball is a lot different, and, and that took a lot more practice, being able to know what type of spin to put on the ball, uh, but I work on it. I work on it a lot. Even, even days where like, you're not jumping a lot or you're not going 100, uh, just being able to work on your touch, um, definitely, it's, it's, a, it's a daily routine. How have you seen Keegan's in-between game grow throughout the course of this year? And I know you guys spent some time together in the offseason. Do you ever feel like he's kind of mimicking some of your moves? Well, Keegan says he needs to get the ball in the post a little more. And I was like, well, Keegan was a five in college. That's the way he played. Um, but no, he, I mean, he, he has that confidence. And I feel, like, I feel like this year it's a lot better because he feels more comfortable putting the ball on the floor. Like, I think, especially in this league, to get to a mid-range shot, a lot of times you're kind of doing that yourself. So... Um, since he's been more comfortable putting it on the floor, I feel like he's gotten to that spot um, a lot easier than he did last year. And uh, I mean, that just adds a dynamic to him. It adds a dynamic to our offense. Just um, obviously, he doesn't get a lot of isolations, but whenever he does and he's able to execute it at a at a good clip, um, it, it helps us as a whole.
Yeah, and getting back to, you know, uh, King, and, and uh, I know it's been well documented about, you know, the offseason, you and him playing against each other. Uh, was that a case where you had to shoot over him, around him, or those are the type of things that you were working with? I know you can run past him, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, just being able to go, go against go against somebody who's 6'8 every single day um, did nothing but help me. And I think it's helped him being able to be more comfortable guarding smaller, quicker guys, because those are things that we're asking him to do. Um, I think we both, I think we made each other better this summer. And um, obviously he hasn't shot the ball well, but um, he, he, he knows that, and he knows that uh, he'll, be, he'll be better down the line. So um, I think we, we both had a great summer, and I think we're both showing the work that we, that we put in this summer.